You're growing up today. It's like you're, I don't know, you're like you're living in this age of miracles. Because all of your experiences that you have, think about it, when, you're, when your kids listen to music or what they watch television or they hang out with their friends, it's not like how we did it. These are hyper-individualized, personalized experiences designed for them and them alone based on data. I mean, it's always funny when you swap phones with someone and you look at someone else's news feed, you realize that we, don't, we have a completely different version of reality now. And for your kids, this is even more pronounced. This is setting a baseline of expectations because your kids are growing up not in a digital age, but an algorithmic age. And we see the, you know, the influence of algorithms and automation and AI everywhere. They're now the deep infrastructure of the world. And when you start to realize this, that this is a world in which these technologies are not just being used to cut costs or create efficiencies, they're being used at a very deep substrate level to create immersive, hyper-individualized experiences. This is where the action's gonna be. So by 2030, I, I kind of think, in many ways, the, the physical hardware of the world won't look so different. If we sort of stepped into a, a portal and walked out in 2030, yeah, you'd still see people staring at screens. You'd still see, you know, many of the kind of physical infrastructure will kind of look the same. But the big difference, I think, will be the proficiency of companies and platforms to deliver these seamlessly orchestrated personalized experiences made possible by these new platforms that are capable of continuous learning and adaption. So what are the consequences for this as leaders in, in your organization? How is this going to change the way we're going to need to engage our customers in 2030? Well, there's three big consequences, I think. The first is, no matter what field you're in, whether it's healthcare or retail or logistics, winning the 21st century consumer is going to depend on your capability and creativity in delivering algorithmic experiences. We are all in the experience business now. And you can define an experience, whether it's the performance of an application, you know, the uptime of your service, or right down to the kind of the anthropology of the design of that experience and, and the emotional impact it has. It doesn't matter, because underneath all of that is data and AI.